Toilet paper. Three months ago, when you hear the words toilet paper, what goes through your mind? Now, today, when you hear the words toilet paper, does that same thing cross your mind? I don't think so. We all have opinions about what's been going on with this whole coronavirus thing, okay? Not just the virus alone, but how people are reacting to it. My opinion is not the most popular, but I really don't care, it's my opinion, and I am allowed to have it. Because <laughs> there are some people that agree with me, okay? I think people are going psycho, going crazy. They're reacting out of panic. Everyone needs to remain calm, because panic doesn't get you nowhere. Working at a hospital for many years in the medical field, we are calm, we are at risk every day. If we were to panic going to work every day, I think all of you would be fucked. I don't think you would be under our care. Now they train hospital staff to remain calm for a reason. And I promise you, if all of you just remained calm and do what they tell you, which is, which is wash your hands, stay inside, and stay six feet away from people, then you'll be okay. But this panic ain't doing shit for y'all. So Andre Turby, if I'm pronouncing it, I'm, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, I got to. He uploaded a video called, They Bought All the Toilet Paper. He is an illustrator. His videos are animated. I love that he states his opinion, but he backs it up with facts. It's not just an opinion. So that's what I really love about his videos. I agree with a lot of what he talks about, but I don't know if this video is gonna side with me or not, but we're gonna go ahead and watch it. Are y'all ready to see this? All right, so let's enjoy. Okay, so things have been really crazy out there in the past couple of months. There's this thing that I can't mention by name because of YouTube's excessive restrictions, but it's uh, causing a little bit of chaos out there. Not gonna... What he's talking about is YouTube is demonetizing our videos if we talk about the coronavirus, which I know they're gonna demonetize this. And I just got monetized, okay? But I don't care. They can demonetize this video. I'm fine with it. They demonetized my other one, so... That's fine. I believe they demonetize these videos because they want to make sure misinformation is not being put out. I mean, I was out here minding my own business when I noticed I ran out of toilet paper. And like any normal human being, I went out to the store to get a couple of rolls. When I saw... Uh. Mm. What the hell is going on here? Wait a minute, Wilford? <laughs> Wilford, it's me! <laughs> But run, boy! For a second there, it looked like you were running away from me. Thank God he caught some toilet paper, because apparently it's sold out everywhere for some reason. <laughs> so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Well then, I guess I'll just leave. <laughs> okay, real talk for a second. The thing we're talking about that has taken over the world and continues to spread should by no means be taken lightly. It's a freaking pandemic, the 100%. likes of which we've only seen in video games and TV shows. It's understandable why people are freaking out, but it's important to remember we're all in this together and we have to deal with it individually and responsibly. In order to avoid complete chaos, it's important to stay inside as much as possible because there is this curve of how quickly this thing is spreading and if we don't help keep it as flat as possible healthcare systems around the world are going to be overwhelmed and there's already people out there who are licking toilet seats for the sake of the coronavirus challenge and there's a corona virus challenge are you kidding me there is a corona virus challenge Listen, I myself, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I stay indoors because I choose to stay indoors. I'm not, I don't stay in here because everyone is telling me to. If I wanna step out, I'm going to step out. By the end of the day, I'm still safe because I'm, I'm stay away from people and anything I touch, I wash my hands quickly right after. I'm not dumb. I work in the medical field, okay? I wash my hands about 20 times a day. But then you got stupid people like her and most likely teenagers and young kids doing this dumbass challenge, putting themselves at risk and putting the elderly at risk, their, their grandparents, their, grand, their great grandparents. Why, who are your parents? Who is raising you right now? Why are you doing this for views? Y'all look dumb. Get your shit together. 
places like Nashville who are throwing parties to show how strong they are in the face of the virus. I That's simply so dumb. cannot. And then there's all of these people who are buying stuff like toilet paper in bulk, as if that's some kind of magical cure for the virus. <laughs> that's what the hell I've been saying! Why toilet paper? Toilet paper, you guys, is a privilege. That's something to wipe our ass when we need to take a shit. If you have not noticed, we'll be okay if we didn't have toilet paper. We will survive. If something was to happen to where we were in survival mode, you don't need toilet paper to wipe your ass. You can use anything, including leaves, including your own clothes. You can use anything. You do not need toilet paper. It's not a necessity. Everyone's priorities are all fucked. And it's only because of panic. Panic does this to people. And look at you guys. They tell you to stay in. Instead of staying in, you guys all go to the same damn store, touching everything, rubbing against each other because all these stores are fully packed. You guys are spreading the virus and y'all don't even know it. Making it worse for society. Thank you. Thank you to all, to all of you who are panicking. Thank you for fucking us. I just don't understand. I don't get it. I am concerned about the virus. I don't think they have a, a control on it yet. And it is spreading. She's like, I am concerned about the virus, so I'm gonna be out here in this giant crowd of people fighting for toilet paper. I don't know whose grandma this is, but if you're watching this video, you need to pick up your phone and call her, tell her to stay home, because there's no reason why old people should be out there in a crowd Agreed. right now. But the panic buying is so rampant. I tell everyone to live their lives because I still want you guys to live your lives. But when I call my parents, I make sure the rest are at home because they are older. And I ain't trying to have them get sick. There's some people straight up don't even know why they're buying toilet paper. It just seems like everybody else is buying it, so it seems like a good thing to do since I'm here. This feels so much like a couple of years ago when everyone was up in a frenzy to buy Bitcoin. Remember that? It's just human nature to see everybody doing something and people are like, Oh shit, everybody's buying this? That means I've got to buy it. I don't know if I need it, but i got to <laughs> buy it. And meanwhile, a bunch of business people are rubbing their hands watching all of this go down with dollar signs mm -hmm. in their eyes. And have you not noticed a lot of the price? have gone up these are business people they're like ooh, my product is in high demand right now I am going to make sure I'm gonna take full advantage of the situation I'm gonna raise up the price keep restocking the shelves and keep making that money thank you coronavirus for helping my business and all you people are just giving that money away like you're at a strip club just like that, for things you don't need, for things that's not gonna cure coronavirus. I'm afraid the test came back positive. You have coronavirus. That can't be correct. I've got a hundred rolls of toilet paper at home. <laughs> what, you're telling me I got infected after throwing down with a thousand other people at Costco over toilet paper? No. Mm. The zombie apocalypse is about to happen. Everyone said, screw the food, screw the water. I want my booty paper. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> this guy is so right, by the way. In the face of a potential dystopian disaster, humanity as a whole seems to have its priorities a little bit out of sync. Bring the robots, aliens, viruses, bring them all. As long as I can wipe my butt, I'm good. Like, the look, stupidity. In Hong Kong, there's even been a gunpoint robbery where the criminal only took toilet paper. The world is upside down right now. Fights have broken out in stores. I saw this one. I saw this one. A mother and a daughter. What the world is happening? So it's <laughs> oh my god. This lady had hit her car full of toilet paper. Greedy as fuck. Greedy. And this other woman just wanted one toilet paper. <laughs> and she says no, no toilet paper. <laughs> what is wrong with society? I swear, I really don't want to think that people are stupid. 
but there's just been so much evidence, so much proof that they are. Like, you guys, come on, man, we're better than that. As far as I understand it, this lady over here has a cart full of all of the toilet paper in the store. This other lady thinks she's being slick taking one pack <laughs> off of this mountain of toilet paper. And she's like, oh. I feel someone touching my toilet paper. Sorry, but like, look how much you've got over here. I just need one. No. <laughs> I swear to Christ, man. People are just the worst sometimes. I swear. Like this guy. He bought 17,000 bottles of hand sanitizer, hoping to sell them at a higher price on Amazon or eBay. And uh, tough luck for him. Dumb. Because Amazon and eBay are cracking down so on dumb. anybody who's reselling all of these items. <laughs> Look at his dumbass face. So Don't you get? be like this guy. Big royal no-no right here. Big royal no-no. I think an important aspect of this whole phenomenon that gets a little bit overseen is that there's so much misinformation out there. Whether there's people behind the scenes who actively seek to gain something from it, or just people panicking and influencing each other like a domino effect, whatever the reason, there's a lot of fake news going around. This wave of unverified information being shared over WhatsApp groups, mainly among older people, is spreading even faster than the virus itself. So much of this commotion over toilet paper or hand sanitizer is... Listen, toilet paper is to wipe ass. It's not gonna help you with the coronavirus. Hand sanitizer, it will help a little bit. It will help kill some germs. But that's not the proper way. Washing your hands will kill most of the germs. Washing your hands is your best bet. Every day when I go to work, which is at a hospital, we do not talk about toilet paper and hand sanitizer. We talk about washing our hands. It's being driven by misinformation. So jokes aside, please remember to only get your information from verified sources, such as the World Health Organization or worldometer.info. Depending on what country you live in, it's also important to listen to your local authorities. Definitely don't listen to some voice message that your neighbor shared with your aunt. The only thing people should be sharing right now is memes. Explaining to your kids why you spent their college fund on toilet paper and hand Girl. sanitizer. You wouldn't get it. Tell you. I feel like everything that's going on right now is totally something that the Joker would do. Maybe not the Joaquin Joker, but definitely the Heath Ledger Joker. He'd probably buy up all the toilet paper and set it on fire, while Batman is like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> when your human comes home from work, you better wash your hands before you fill up my bowl. <laughs> I'm telling you, dogs are smarter than humans. They I are. Have seen a single dog at the store nope. hoarding toilet paper? Nope. No. They're sitting at home in quarantine giving orders when okay. soap cleans 99.99% .99 of germs. Soap. Not hand sanitizer. Still good to have, but soap is what you need. So you mix it with another soap to make it 199.98% science. Hold on a second, let me check this. 99.99 plus 99.99. Oh my god, this guy just solved it at the office. So, oh, I'm kind of sad. <laughs> Working from home. <laughs> I mean, I can't totally relate because this is what I look like always. This is what I look like right now. <laughs> Hashtag animator life, bruh. My boss. Hey, that's me too. That's bliss life. I look like shit every day. And I'm only, I only look okay on video because I'm working, I'm filming. I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to see me looking like shit. <laughs> what did you get done today while working from home? Me. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> what is this? Who is this lady? Absolute mood. Me. I'm not afraid. Also me. Demons be gone. Be gone, demons. Be gone. Leave this <laughs> studio. Leave. This is legit sage from a Native American woman. Wow. Bro, if even Joe Rogan <laughs> is burning sage and chanting incantations, then we are truly fucked. So it looks like a bunch of Hollywood people got together and made what is said to be the cringiest thing of this year. So, uh, let's watch this what? thing. Imagine there is no heaven. Okay. Easy if you try. Oh no. No hell below us. Oh no. Above us on the sky. Hmm. Imagine all the people. I mean, this guy's kind of good. So you're telling me that these celebrities got together to sing this song to unite people during this time. 
Why are we so corny? Why are we so corny? For today. Oh no. Who is this guy even? Mm. It isn't hard to do. Oh, get out of here, Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> oh, bro, this is a disaster. Imagine all the people. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Okay, we get it. You know how to sing. Just let another person. You may say that I'm a dreamer. Oh, bro, I can't, I can't watch this. I can't. Imagine being this tone deaf. The world needs a lot of things. Not this, though. Aren't we <laughs> suffering enough? Well, boys, we did it. Corona versus no more. <laughs> this gave me Corona. And the dislike bar, holy crap. Honestly, what did they expect would happen? I would rather run out of toilet paper than listen to that ever again. I would be embarrassed if I was one of those celebrities. Yeah, I'd be embarrassed. So the bottom line is, the world is going crazy. There's no more toilet paper left in the world. And we're gonna have a rough time for a while. I wanna take a moment to- By the way, it's crazy because I went to Walgreens a few days ago. I talked about this before. The shelves were fully stocked with toilet paper. So was the water bottles. I went there for something else. Well, guess what? I got myself a pack of toilet paper, a pack of bottled waters. They said I have a limit of two. Don't need it. Don't want it. I just need toilet paper because every few weeks I get toilet paper. <laughs> I just need some for my house. Stop panicking. The toilet paper will be there. Stop being greedy. Stop taking everything. To send positive thoughts to Italy in particular. As of recording this, they have just officially surpassed the number of fatalities Damn. in China. And there's footage from Italian hospitals that is just heartbreaking. And yet, across the entire country, we're seeing people coming to... I feel so bad. Like, it's so crazy. I was... Pris and I were in Italy this past September, just six months ago. So three months before the first coronavirus was reported. We could have been there while it was spreading and we didn't even know. And let me tell you something about Italy. Their people are beautiful. Their country is beautiful. And I feel so bad for what they're going through. I feel bad for every country and what they're going through, including ours. But Italy, man, like their average age is the age of 45. So they're, they're more older over there and it just sucks, man. Together singing out their windows and balconies. There's also cases of strangers playing the most intense game of tennis I've ever seen. That's cool. I admire the strength of the Italian people in the face of this crisis. And unfortunately, many other countries are on the brink of reaching the same status. We are all in a bit of a clusterfuck at the moment. And all I can do is talk about this in a way that offers a little bit of relief to anyone who needs it. So once again, I cannot stress enough how important it is to stay at home. Tell your parents and your grandparents to stay at home as well. Don't listen to bogus conspiracy theories and phantom WhatsApp voice memos. Inform yourself from verified sources only. And do not, for the love of God, do not stockpile on toilet paper. Just take a reasonable amount and leave some for the rest of us. Please. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again very soon. Unless we all die in the meantime. <laughs> Listen, that was a good video, like always. Here I go, agreeing with you again. I mean, some of us are smart. Some of us are smart. Not everybody is dumb. And not everybody panics. And I apologize if you're my, one of my subscribers and you're one of those people rushing and panicking. I'm sorry if you got offended at all in this video, but I will always take my opinion and this is my opinion. These are also facts, okay? All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.